kids are back in the classroom. Usually the first week is about getting them transitioned into the school year, but then comes all the homework. Some have homework on the first day, by the way. <laughs> Joining me now to discuss some of the homework strategies is Jenny Sekula. She is the director and franchisee of Jacksonville and Orange Park's Sylvan Learning Center. Thank you for coming in and talking to us. I know that this is hitting home with so many parents that are watching right now. So I think one of the first questions really is, how much should parents be involved with a child and their homework? So first of all, I just want to stress to all the parents that this is a joyous time of the year, but we also understand that it can be a struggle too because you don't know exactly how much you should, should support. I want to make sure that parents understand that homework is the child's responsibility, not your responsibility. However, you have a major role to play. You want to make sure that you are the accountability partner. So there are certain things that you want to do and things that maybe you don't want to do. I'm just going to cover that first yeah. big one. Don't, don't. over support. Okay, so don't right. basically do their homework for them. Exactly, yeah. because you're creating the opposite effect. The child then loses the opportunity to practice the skill and more importantly, loses the opportunity to be accountable, reliable, and to get that work done and hand it in. That's their job. What are some of the things the parents should be doing? So what you want to do is take care of the learning environment. So there's a learning environment at school, but there has to be a learning environment at home. So you're going to take care of the physical learning environment and the kind of mental learning environment mm -hmm. as well. So in that physical learning environment, you want to create a, a home office that is stocked with all the things that you would want in your office. So we often forget that just sharpened pencils mm -hmm. is one thing that's important to always be there. The child needs to have their own tape, their own stapler, flashcards, and something we forget is a filing system. Yeah, Where? this makes it, yes. especially, I mean, the school's serious mm -hmm. for a lot of middle school and right. high schoolers, and this can really be a, a big help. It's an opportunity to sort and to keep and discard, so you need a place for that. This is simple. You can get this at any office store, and you can make it colorful, you can make it plain, you can do however you want, but make sure that there is a place to put those papers. At what point, Jenny, do we know that we might want to seek outside help for our kids with their homework? So this is part of the accountability partner's responsibility. So this can be mom or anyone who's designated to really keep an eye on things. You want to make sure that your student knows what to do, brings home the resources to do it, understands who the lifelines are, mm -hmm. and then you want to watch and see, is he constantly struggling? He doesn't seem to know what to do. He doesn't seem to understand the work. That's when you have a signal that there's something wrong. Homework is supposed to be a practice and review of what was done in class or a chance to prepare for what's going to or be discussed coming, tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So your child should be able to do that. So you're providing the structure, the support, the supplies. Uh, you've got that physical part taken care of, but if you see those signs of struggle, you have to go a step further. Is getting outside help something that is affordable? Because I know yeah. it, it gives parents a lot of peace of mind, mm -hmm. um, and it also takes a little bit off their plate. If they've just come home from working a full-time job, they could get frustrated having to help Absolutely. with the homework. Absolutely. So I find that in life we pay attention to the things that matter. So if your child's success is something that really matters to you, Yes, we can help find an affordable way to get the child back on track. And it starts with identifying what is the problem. So in that way, I can approach the problem logically, whereas parents are always approaching it emotionally, right? Mm -hmm. So helping them to get back on track and to see what they can do that will make a difference. And I wanted to point out, we talked about the physical environment. We need to establish the mental environment as well. Mm -hmm. And that's setting expectations. In our family, we value achievement and success. I want you to be reliable and accountable in life. So therefore, I expect you to come home knowing what to do. I expect you to bring the resources. And I also expect you to alert me when you have a problem. I love it. Thank you so much. This is great information. Again, Sylvan Learning Center. Um, and if you're interested in this program, you can check out sylvanlearning.com and also sylvannation.com.